After playing solo Minecraft Hardcore for well over a year, I want a new challenge. Superflat initially seemed interesting, but you're forced to be in just a plains biome forever, meaning there are tons of mobs and blocks that you can't even get. So I set my sights on something even better, Superflat Plus, a brand new version of Superflat that brings more structures, all of the biomes, all of the mobs, and ensures that you can defeat every boss and obtain every single block in the game. My name's Ryan, and I'm attempting Minecraft YouTube's biggest challenge, making a successful series that isn't hardcore or a hundred days. Let's get started. Oh dang. I don't know if this is a lucky or unfortunate start, but that's where we're going first. Let's see what we got in this chest. Oh, a goat horn is actually pretty sick. I just gotta find a way out of here. Uh, uh, that's one way to do it. Oh god, no! Why don't you have Stormtrooper aim? Please, miss, dear God. I, I am unstoppable! Found a ruined portal not too far away, and... It's trash. Oh, look at all the lovely rainbow-colored slimes. Ooh, you know, it feels a little... Uh... Brutal? Beating the cows to death with my bare hands? If you think about it, I'm just preemptively tenderizing the steaks. Ooh, I got some skin. I found my first village! Victory horn! Let me grab this. Guess not. I can't believe the villagers just piled up all this raw bread out here. Doesn't seem very smart. Someone could just come along and take it. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Let's punch a tree. Normally, I don't care about leather workers, but these guys just left some saddles in a chest, so I'm finally getting a new car. But first, I must make my wooden pickaxe, nab some rocks, and immediately upgrade it. Don't know if you knew this, but these wells just break through the bedrock and go directly into the void. Isn't that weird? Now that I have my nice pants on, I'm off to my local car dealership to get a brand new, fancy, fully self-driving car, which I'm sure will keep me and my family nice and safe. There's even brown leather upholstery? Huh, this is the height of luxury. So, bad news. I had to get a new car here, as you can see. The previous one, well, it almost burned me alive. It's apparently something that just happens. I, I wouldn't recommend putting your faith for saving the human race in a balding man-child who used his daddy's emerald money to fail upwards, invent nothing, I have the worst cameo in all of Marvel. Those Merlin engines are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, good idea for an electric jet. Good idea for an electric jet. <laughs> also, I'm using the Vanilla Tweaks mob heads on this world, and it kind of makes me feel like a serial killer, which I don't know if I'm a fan of. A wild pink sheep! Oh, can I be lucky enough? So, no head? Oh, there it is! It's exactly what I've been looking for! Please be the right version. Oh, let's go! This is by far the best structure early game. Be free, be free, and we'll cure him. Let me grab an apple. I didn't realize this until just now, but there's a cactus in a pot down here, meaning that's one thing I don't need the wandering trader for, which is great because I hate the wandering trader. I'm just gonna grab some stuff from the village, like this fletching table. And now I can trade sticks for emeralds, which is huge because sticks are so quick to get. And by making this cured villager a toolsmith, I can essentially trade 32 sticks for one diamond tool. How crazy is that? Now for everyone's favorite thing, chopping down trees to get sticks. Thank you, thank you. I got a little bored, so I decided to go on a bit of a journey, and I found a ruined portal, which I'm absolutely taking back to my igloo so I can get to the nether at some point. So I managed to find a second igloo on my little excursion. And you know what else I managed to find? A sponsor for today's video. It's you, if you hit the subscribe button, which according to my YouTube analytics, literally no one has ever done that before. So you could be the very first subscriber if you hit that subscribe button. Now it's time for a smooth transition to the rest of the video. 
and I am taking this opportunity to get cheap armor from this guy. Oh, this is so convenient. I'm going to store all my stuff here for safekeeping. Oh, okay. Uh, not safekeeping then. Need another chest. And with all the obsidian I got from that ruined portal, we can finally go to the nether. This should be fun. Before we do any exploring, I'm going to quickly find a stack of ancient debris. Oh, well, that's a lot faster than I thought I'd find the first one. In case you've never watched a series by me before, the pink block is retextured ancient debris. And at this point, I don't even remember why. Yeah, I'm out of diamond picks. You know what that means. Chopping down more trees. Honestly, I don't know what else you thought it would be. Like, it felt pretty odd. I'm getting more villagers so I can trade more sticks more faster. Yep, thank you. Hey, we're back in again, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, it didn't even take that long. Exactly how long, though? Uh... It's so worth it, though. I should probably focus on beating the game now. Why do I always find the most precarious nether fortresses? For once, I'd like to be able to just walk over to it, not have to bridge over a big pool of game over juice. Okay, please don't kill me. Eight should be good enough. Next, I just need to relieve some endermen of their pearls. And I suppose get an achievement as well. 13 pearls is more than adequate, so let's get out of here. Oh, no way. Okay, uh, so now I kind of want to take a side quest to get a beacon. I'm quitting the side quest without looting three. It's really horrible. So I'll just come back in a few minutes when I have that. Follow the eyes, they say. Oh, uh, I guess I gotta turn around. Hmm, nothing... Wait! <gasps> oh, okay, so the only way to get a large fern item is to find them in these village chests, and I've literally never found one before. This is so cool. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion that that's the stronghold. Let's go. Ah, Jesus Christ. If I could just ever not have the bridge, that'd be so f As a master bowman, it will only take someone of my caliber, a mere single arrow, to destroy the crystals of regeneration perched atop the obsidian pillars. I merely draw back my bowstring and loose death and destruction as I fell the foes that lay before me. The, the game adds a small randomness to your shots, okay? I'm aiming perfectly accurate. she's dead. At least she makes the absolute loudest and most deafening noise in all of gaming ever. Holy sh- To the outer end. Okay, this game is always trying to kill me. Oh, I'm just bridging some blocks through the sky. Oh, the bridge, go on. Why must I build? And we've finally made it to a city. Let's go. Helpful tip, just placing in full blocks is the best way to go up these stairs. Ooh, diamonds. Sadly, there was no elytra, so I must press on. Be your bridge, but one block in f- ah. Oh, would you look at that? Not one, but two cities that aren't absolute garbage. It was really close to the first one. I don't know why I'm complaining. And all I have to do is go up there. Victory uh hall! -huh. Thank you. It wasn't that hard. And I'll take you as a backup. I hardly have any rails, but I want to take a shulker to the overworld now, so I don't have to come back later. Getting shot at while trying to build this rail is definitely not the most fun- uh, there he goes. I didn't have enough rails to go the whole distance, so I have to pick them up and place them down again. And this is gonna be the final push. Hey, let's go! And I gotta do this all over again. 
Oh, come on. The final, final push. If we jump in here, we should see him at spawn. Yeah, he's here. That means it's time for the victory. Oh. I lack the materials to make a shulker farm right now, so I'm just going to work on getting that beacon since it should be faster. Let's see. Of course you don't have looting. And you do. That's number two. Not too bad. Oh, wow. Can I get another on the next one? <laughs> okay, sure. Moral of the story, get looting three. It saves so much time. And we make the wither man. And we kill the wither man. Weird skull thing. And with that, I have slain two of the bosses. So let's go kill the other two. What's a shipwreck doing out here? Ooh, moss. That's one of those uh, ocean ruins which apparently are perfect for getting sand, thankfully bypassing the need for another wandering trader trade. Okay, so this seems to be a flower forest surrounding a deep dark biome, which is so sick. I think I might just make my base here. And what is in this wrecked ship? Hey, nice. Just an FYI, there are no buried treasures in this world. And instead, the treasure maps that would lead to them that you find in shipwrecks are replaced with the heart of the sea. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I've decided to breed a mule so it'll be easier to carry stuff later because we can put chests on these guys. Oh, I hello, Juan DT. Eh, I'll just buy sea pickles. Look out for the big slime! Can't believe that slime killed him. I'll drop these boys off at home and then I can return to hunting the Elder Guardian. Oh, ocean monuments, where are you? Please have glow berries. There are so many ocean ruins that there has to be an ocean monument somewhere. <gasps> Let's do this thing. Okay, whoa, there are actually so many of these. I was just on my way in. Anyways, back to the main event. That's one dead, so there should be two more. One more. Get wrecked, Guardian! So, three bosses down. Well, I suppose it's five bosses down. Anyways, one to go. Just dropped off the Ocean Monument loot, and I'm headed back to the deep dark. Let's build up a pillar. A little platform. And then just spawn him in. Oh shit, that's him. Ah! Okay, well, I don't know where I am. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, hopefully this pillar is tall enough. He's like, he's way too tanky. Let me grab his head real quick. Oh God, no! Should I just leave him? Eh. Anyways, that's all of the bosses killed. As you can see from this collection behind me, I've completed the boring task. And now I can finally move on to the fun stuff. It's moving. It's actually not that fun. Before I start unpacking, I should probably make this place safer. And that means wool. Oh, come here, sheepy, 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 sheep. Thank you. Cover these demon spawners. I may have accidentally spawned another one. <laughs> if you know anything about me, then you'll realize that this really is my own personal hell. I hate villagers. Please just let me lure them with an item. Please, I'm begging you! And trap them inside. Look everyone, the progenitors. I'm just making a little cobblestone generator so I can get some of the basic resources. As always, I need more wood. This is the worst way to get iron. It's so boring. I've made the first of probably many chest monsters, if I'm being honest. I also need to get more sand because sand and glass, both super important. This is a silverfish head, by the way. Plant the red mushroom, and then destroy- mm, Plant a red mushroom, and then destroy the- Plant a red mushroom, and- uh, Well, I ran out of bone meal, but we got at least one quarter of the sand duper working. Getting iron by hand has become way too tedious for me. So let's make a fancy schmancy automatic iron farm. So I don't have to waste my time anymore. Boom. That was very fast, convenient, and not at all stressful. Please just get in the minecart already! <laughs> uh, it was fun.
I hate this. What? An automatic cobblestone generator? Was this, was this just here the whole time and I didn't know? Or did I just spend a bunch of time building and troubleshooting it because I used the wrong button? What the f Why is the timing still off? <laughs> uh, who knows? I think we all know. I think it's time I save my sanity a little bit by going on a relaxing fishing trip to a jungle. Jungles normally have bamboo as part of the trash loot table, but I've also added cocoa beans to it. Gotta make the lake. Okay, so that should have taken more than two. At least there's still cocoa beans. And that 45 minute fishing trip ended up being like six minutes or something? Another wandering trader. What do you have, mister? Oh, I actually really want that coral. Let me clear these guys out. Thank you for the coral and the other crap. <gasps> well, that's not very good. Oh, what's my death marker at? 4,000! Hmm, you gonna blow up, Ryan. You gonna blow up. <laughs> and that's what they get for distracting me. Suck it. The reason I was out here is because I was still looking for glowberries. Uh, hopefully they're over there. Nope. Please, I don't want to search anymore. <sighs> okay. Okay. After AFKing this bamboo for a bit, I finally have the materials for the next little project. If you've built it before, you should recognize all of these things. Oh. Well, we just do a little lava cast here. A little lava cast up here. It's ENXO4's raid farm, in case you didn't figure it out yet. Please give me bad omen! Oh my god, they're so angry. We just sneak in. Start attacking this armor stand. Do a little free cam action. And the raids should start stacking. Like that. Now, have I really made a good video if I didn't dig a hole? I don't think so. That's right, I'm gonna live in the void, for no reason other than I just can. It's super flat, so we need to take advantage of these things. Gotta break the seal and do a little skulk decoration. I have no idea what I'm making. Hopefully it looks nice when I'm done. Adding in a little blue fire for ambiance. Very carefully pillar downwards. Just gotta grab some building materials. It's not dangerous at all. I hope. And after a little bit of work, I've brought the warp forest to the void. And it's next to an ancient city. I lied. It's actually next to two ancient cities. Because the bedrock layer is at Y0 and ancient cities normally spawn in the negative Y levels, they kind of just spawn down here in the void, floating in the nothingness, which is so sick. Anyways, let's explore. Echo shards. Nice. Two gapples? What's over here? Are you fuck- I'll take this skull. I want to build more down there. The only material I really have to build with right now is cobblestone, which really doesn't suit the deep dark theme. So I can't use any of it. I do, however, have a solution. If I build a cobblestone generator below Y0 and put some lava in, it becomes a cobbled deep slate generator. And I think that that suits the deep dark theme a lot better. With all of these deep slate blocks, I can finally get to repairing the ancient city. Something about this feels a little precarious. Try to make a fancy floor pattern. Hopefully. Some arches would probably look quite nice. It's definitely missing something. The cyan of the warped blocks palette goes so perfectly with deep slate, it's crazy. It's a little disconnected from the land down here, so I should probably connect that up. In addition to repairing the ancient city, I want to make it a bit more lively. So I've built a little blacksmithing guild for toolsmiths and armors to work and sell their wares in the city. I just need to get villagers down here. The easiest way to get rails is of course by duping them. And we send down the first villager to ever set foot in the ancient city.
Oh, I could have sworn you didn't take fall damage in mine cards. I mean, the empirical evidence says otherwise, but both that villagers and my minds are blown. So only like three more villagers died, but I did end up getting the armors and toolsmiths into the guild, and I think they like it so far. However, the city is still pretty empty, so I'm thinking of adding in a big building next door. Probably a library. And of course, every library needs some librarians, so let's send them down into the abyss. Get going, buddy. I will meet you at the bottom. I seem to have made a mistake. Ugh. And after many, many hours of suffering, I've moved in all the villagers, and they actually have nice trades, though the efficiency villager took a bit to get. 843. 8... 40 to 4, 8, 45, 8, 40, 6. It's the cheapest efficiency trade as well! God! That's the end of the goddamn stream! I hate this game! I do want to have a useful trading hall though, so I'm going to make a void trading setup. I got one section done, but I don't know how many more to go. Boom! Six hours later, magically leads to all of the terracotta trades. This sucks so much. So yeah, I can buy every one of these blocks with the emeralds from the raid farm, which drastically increases the building opportunities. Now I want you to imagine what it would look like if this area was bigger and more useful. Oh, uh, hey, that's crazy. This area is so much bigger and more useful. I can now void trade librarians for a max level of every single enchanted book they can trade. This may or may not have taken me all day. It took me all day. Anyways, I've been void trading for quite a while now, and I want to show you some of the results, courtesy of this toolsmith. In this chest monster behind me is something very special. I have two double chests of diamond hose, two double chests of diamond shovels, two diamond chests of diamond pickaxes, two double chests of diamond axes. Now, they do come with garbage enchantments, so I remove them with this grindstone. And I have eight double chests of efficiency five, as you can see, I also have eight double chests of Unbreaking 3, and the top row of tools is going to get the four double chests of Fortune 3, and the bottom row of tools is going to get the four double chests of Silk Touch. Now, because I don't have a lot of shulker boxes, I have no decent way of moving these over to the raid farm to enchant them all, and I'm way too lazy to do this in more than one trip. So that's all going to have to wait for the next episode. So if you want to see a shulker farm, enchanting tools, expanding the ancient city, and much, much more, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode when it comes out. Also, if you want to play Super Flat Plus with cool people, pop into my Discord. And if you want to play alone, that's also fine. Links to both will be in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I don't know.